So here's the microbalance. It just uses a standard voltmeter. This is measuring um, basically the current that I'm placing through this coil. And um, these two optical interrupters are in a differential configuration. And when they are at zero, the, the thing is perfectly balanced. So when the difference in voltage out of those two things is zero, it's in balance. So there's a circuit board inside of here that's driving the um, signal from those two interrupters to be zero at all times. There's a brass bar. It's actually just a hollow tube. And there's two support points where I've stretched a stainless steel wire. And that's the fulcrum for the balance. As you can see right now, it's um, way out of balance. There's a lot of force required um, from the magnet. The reason this is bouncing around is that this is magnetic and there's magnets there. So as I get that closer, you're just watching the magnetic force. Okay, <clears throat> so to get this close to balance, that just means the beam's slightly out of balance. I have this, um, where am I? Yeah, there we go. I have this small piece of brass. It's uh, 0 0.1 millimeters thick, and if I put that on there, I want to first get a rough um, mechanical balance. This is the way that I do it. Well, I got pretty close there. My goodness. And then I can electronically zero it by turning this knob. This just puts a little bit of static current into the coil itself. And you can see when I turn this, I change the balance condition. So let's get this into balance. It has a settling time of about 10 seconds, so we have to, I have to be patient when I use it. Now, if I place something on this black line shown here, then it'll weigh that. And it has a resolution, this last digit, which is millivolts. That last digit is uh, 20 micrograms. So whatever reading I get here, I multiply it by 20 micrograms and um, that's the weight. So, let me weigh, let me weigh something substantial here. So I've got this piece of solder, a ball of solder, and I'll put it on there. And that's a huge weight for this balance, of course. Let me let it settle. And if I multiplied that number by 20 micrograms, 1153 by 20 micrograms, um, I'd get, what, 20,000 micrograms? Roughly, 20, 22,000 micrograms. So that would be 20 um, milligrams. So this little piece of solder weighs roughly 20 milligrams. So that's how it works. I've got pieces of gold here that I want to weigh. These are from some assay experiments that um, I'm working on. And they're truly tiny pieces of gold. I don't think you'll be able to see them in the um, 
in the camera, but nonetheless, I'm going to attempt to weigh it. I need um, very, very fine tweezers to pick it up, and I'm looking for the tweezers. Now I'm going to wear these magnifying, I'm going to get this in the field of view, these magnifying lenses to be able to see that. So there's a tiny piece of gold. I'll move it here. Maybe you can see that little bead. So that bead of gold is sitting right there. The balance is zeroed. Probably good enough. I don't remember which way I go with this knob. Okay. Now. I just lost it. <laughs> uh, well, let's, I have, I have more, and luckily this experiment was, um, not important anyway. Nonetheless, it's, um, this is a very disturbing part of the problem, is how you get these tiny gold beads onto the scale. The tweezers tend to, if you pinch too hard, the gold ball flies away. And the other problem is they get stuck on the tweezers. And get that right on the black line. And we let it settle. So I'm going to call that um, 8 times 20, which is what, 160 um, micrograms. or 0.16 milligrams. So it's an insubstantial, I started with 100 grams of ore, that's an insubstantial amount of gold in the ore. That would correspond to about um, 1.5 or 1 yeah, 1 um, parts per million. And some of that is silver. You can see it's not a very gold-colored bead. Now I'm going to get it off of there and back into my little jar. Okay. <laughs> 